हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एच टू के इन्फोसिस एच टू के इन्फोसिस इज अ ई वेरीफाइड बिजनेस वी आर बेस्ड इन एटलांटा वी ऑफर द हंड्रेड परसेंट जॉब ओरिएंटेड इंस्ट्रक्टर लेड फेस टू फेस ट्रू ऑनलाइन सॉफ्टवेयर ट्रेनिंग वी ऑल्सो हैव द क्लाउड टेस्ट लैब फॉर द सॉफ्टवेयर टूल्स एंड देन द लाइव प्रोजेक्ट वर्क we provide the mock interviews and then the resume preparation and review and we also assist in the job placement h2k infosys provides the world class services in it trainings with the real time project work for the corporates and the individuals and also the ms students in us we undertake the software design the development testing and then the maintenance we also provide the it staff augmentation the job placement assistance and then the technical support in this session we will be discussing the different steps to be followed as a part of automation testing so before we start with the actual automation task we should do a tool evaluation and a feasibility study to make sure that the qtp is an appropriate tool for automating the test cases of our applications and it can be done by selecting few sample modules screens flow from the application test cases and then we create a simple qtp scripts we record them and then we play back to make sure that the qtp can recognize the objects of the application as a part of the test driven development we can ask the application development team to give the proper name or any other identification properties for the objects if our feasibility study reveals some difficulty for the qtp to recognize the objects the next step is we should start our actual automation work only after completing some basic manual testing to make sure that the application is stable and in the working condition then we develop an automation test plan qtp developers should review the test cases and then update it to specify what are the test cases that can be automated using the vb script we can even automate the functionality without the graphical user interface as well due to the difficulty in the navigation or object identification issue or difficulty in verifying the result we may not be able to automate some of the features but if possible the manual test cases can be rearranged to have separate automated test cases once after reviewing all the test cases and after getting familiar with the application we can design the automation test framework for our requirements we need to document the framework structure where the test data is located the visual basic function libraries are created the object repository files and then the environment variables the object property files for the descriptive programming and many others we need to keep separate the instance of the application specifically for the purpose of developing the automation script it will avoid any unnecessary mess up with the manual testing processes then we need to set up the proper qtp development environment with the required add-in and with any add-in extensibility if many people are going to involve in the development activities then we need to clearly document the responsibility of each and every person basically the roles and responsibilities are assigned to each and every tester of the team and the approach for sharing the script if the application is installed in the remote machine then the qtp should also be installed in the remote machine otherwise the qtp is not going to recognize the objects which are present in the remote session 
So that is the reason we need to have the QTP in the same machine in which we are going to do the automation testing. Then we need to set up a proper object identification properties in QTP IDE. Let me repeat, we need to set up a proper object identification properties in QTP IDE. QTP IDE is nothing but the quickest professional integrated development environment. Once after completing all the above basic steps, the first development task should be adding all the required test objects and the properties to the object repository. It can be done by recording or by manually adding the objects to the object repository. If you specify any object using the descriptive programming, make sure that you document it. And after adding all the objects, we need to rename them to have the unambiguous or meaningful name. Based on your design of the automation framework, create the reusable actions and the visual basic script functions using the step generator or we can also use the keyword view or the expert view or we can also use the active screen. the step generator or you can use the keyword view, the expert view or also the active screen. And using these reusable actions, prepare a sample base script for executing few test cases and then test it to make it free from the error. Make sure that you know there are no errors in the script. And after completing all the steps for creating the sample script, do the parameterization or in other words, we also call it as the data driven testing for executing the multiple iterations. The parameterization or the data driven testing is nothing but you have the script, the VB script, which is separated from the data that is used for the testing. And the advantage over here is we can use the multiple iterations of the data or let's say multiple data sets. So the same feature is tested with the same VB script. A single VB script file is used, but we can use it in order to test for multiple data values. It could be 10 data value set or something even more than that we can use in order to do the testing. And we call it as a data driven testing or the parameterization. If required, we are also going to add the checkpoints in order to verify the expected results. We can also use the regular expressions to make sure that the script runs in all the scenarios even when some properties are getting changed dynamically in a particular pattern. So there are certain web pages or we can say that you know there are certain windows applications basically in which the data get, is getting changing very frequently. So when the data gets changed very frequently, in that case, we can go for the regular expression in order to take care of this changing data. And in order to handle the errors in the software, which could stop the execution of the software, we can also add the recovery scenarios. So these recovery scenarios are added in order to handle any kind of unexpected behavior of the application due to which our testing process could be interrupted. We can use the environment variables in order to avoid any hard coded values in the script. After this, we do the dry run for the sample script 
and then debug the issues in the automation script and we make sure that we fix all the issues that are present in our VB script or the automation script. And we need to do above steps for all the test cases. So all these 22 steps have to be followed for all the test cases that we are going to use for the testing. And then we create a driver script. Driver script is basically a main script that is going to call the other functions or let's say the other script files are called by this driver script. So we need to create a driver script which is going to call all the test scripts. Then we need to complete the dry run even for the driver script as well. Then we prepare the .vbs script file using the automation object model to run the QTP script in other environments also with the same settings. And then we run these scripts in the desired environment. We analyze the test result. We report the bugs or the defects in the application once we complete the result analysis. And after completing the functional testing, basically the QTP, which is used for the automation testing, it is nothing but a functional automation testing tool. Okay. And we select few essential script and store them separately for the future regression testing. So regression testing is conducted in order to make sure that all the defects that we have identified during the functional testing are fixed by the developer. So these were the different automation steps that we had to follow while we use the QTP or any other automation testing tool for the testing process. And if you would like to join our organization for the training courses, we also provide the free demo classes. And you can experience our commitment by attending an orientation workshop at no cost. It is a free demo class and our team of faculty and the advisors are here to provide you the right information. And for all the details, you can visit our website that is www.h2kinfosys.com. And you can register there for a free demo class or you can also call up on 770-777-1269 or you can also write us an email with your contact number to training at h2kinfosys.com so that we make the free demo class available for you. Thanks everybody again for attending this session of the automation test steps.